Coming down onto your mat from a tabletop position, start to wiggle your way into child's pose. Your knees are wide to the edges of the mat, so you can take some deep belly breaths in, letting your belly expand between your thighs. And remembering to make the exhale just as important as the inhale. Eventually, finding your way into a nice smooth ujjayi breath in and out of your nose with a slight constriction in the back of your throat. A nice audible whisper sound as the air passes through the back of your throat. And as you ground down here, set an intention for your practice today. What brings you to your mat today? What is it that you hope to get from your practice? Similar to a goal, but being more present, keep this goal in focus as your intention for your practice. We all practice yoga for different reasons. We come to our mat to seek clarity, clarity of thought, emotions, even something we've actually consumed. Whatever makes us toxic, use this time to find some clarity. A few more breaths on your own as you just breathe your ujjayi breath. As you find one more breath, filling up with air, and a nice deep exhale, use your next inhale to bring you up to a tabletop. Any little adjustments once you do come up to your tabletop as you stack your shoulders over wrists and hips stack over your knees. As you're ready, inhale, cow, gaze out in front of you as your belly drops. Exhale, cat, round your back and spine, chin to chest. Moving breath to movement here, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And again, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. To a neutral tabletop position. Lengthen your spine nice and long. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Lift your sits bones high. Any gentle little movements or adjustments here. You even bend both knees. Melt your heart towards your toes just a little bit more. A gentle paddle of your feet as you walk in place. Keep your ujjayi breath going in and out of your nose. And even maybe a little bit of stillness in your down dog. As you just hold and breathe. Inhale, start to lift your right leg high behind you to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot through between your hands. Any gentle little movements or adjustments. Then lightly set your left knee to the mat. As your hands interlace on top of your right thigh for dragon pose. Lean into your front foot. Inhale, crescent moon, your arms reach up high to the sky. You can press the palms together as they press into each other. Feel your heart lift and open. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Lift your back knee, coming through your low lunge. Find a hamstring stretch. Lengthen your front leg. Little gentle movement as you say hello to your hamstrings through the back of your thigh. Gently rock the weight forward as you come into a standing splits. Lift your left thigh high behind you. Relax your head and neck as you gaze to the back of your mat. Forward fold as your left foot meets your right. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. 
Exhale the deep forward fold. Grab the back of your calves and pull yourself in. Inhale, rise to Tadasana, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center, Samus DET. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, open your hip as you draw your heel in towards your glute. Inhale, start to work your way to a high plank. Nice and long shoulder stack over your wrist. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and out. Couple more breaths here to reset. Next inhale, start to lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot through. Any gentle little movements or adjustments as you set your foot between your hands. Right knee gently rests to the mat as your hands interlace on left thigh for dragon pose. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms high to the sky, taking a palm press if you'd like. Keeping your heart lifted and open. Breathe. Exhale, your hands start to meet the mat. As you lift your back knee off the mat, inhale. A hamstring stretch as you lengthen your left leg. Bow in. Start to rock your weight forward back into your left foot. Inhale, standing split. Your right leg lifts high behind you. Exhale, forward fold as your right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, a deep forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, rise all the way to the top, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samus DT. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip as your heel draws in towards your glute. Inhale, begin to lengthen out, high plank, nice and long, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Beginning to flow, inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands back to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, Samas DT, hands at heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, lengthen out, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. 
Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, Samasthi, T, hands at heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, lengthen out high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's keep this going. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Exhale, left foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, lengthen out high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, lengthen out high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more round. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands reach the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, three-legged dog. And adding on here, if you want, exhale, open your hip or flip your dog, if you know how to flip your dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, and knee to nose as you round and curl, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen out, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. 
Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Remember, a little different this time. Exhale, open your hip or flip your dog. Either way, with a deep breath in. And exhale, knee to nose as you round it back over. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. And out. Just keep breathing. We have completed our rounds of our Sun A today. Start to find your way down to a child's pose. As you relax, tune into your heart rate. Tune into your breath. Just right away, pause here in your child's pose. Tune into any tingling sensation. The feeling and the sensation of a job well done. The completion of a sun A. And just breathe. Feel your heart beat. Feel how easy it is to find a deeper breath right now. And if you are out of breath, slow down your breath. We do have the ability to slow down our breath and our heart rate. We just need to focus on it. To stay here a little bit longer, pause the recording and take a break as long as you want. Otherwise, one more breath to set ourselves up for a sun bee flow. And as you're ready, tuck your toes under. Lift your sits bones high, downward facing dog. Take a moment to check in with a deep breath in and out. Before moving on, I want to set you up for success. We will use the front edge of your mat and the back edge of your mat as a reference point for a direction that we are facing as we turn this flow into a mandala, a half mandala. So just be patient, listen, breathe, and know that the front mat is the front of your mat and the back of your mat is the back of your mat as we flow in all directions. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl, squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right elbow as you come from the outside and squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot through. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to the left. Set yourself up for prostrate, wide-legged straddle. And on an exhale, bow deeper. Couple little adjustments and breaths here, whatever you need. Even a gentle nod of your head, yes and no. Reach for the outer edges of your calves. Cool yourself deeper, crown of the head towards the floor. Breathe, enjoy this space. Inhale, start to come up about halfway, up under your fingertips like a half lift, hold for the exhale. Next, inhale, rise all the way to the top, star pose. And exhale as hands come to heart center, horse. Toes turn out, heels in as you sit low in your horse pose. A gentle little sway side to side, opening up and working deeper into your hips. Breathe. Stay low in the hips. With a big breath, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more. Inhale, reach out and up. 
Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, star, open all the way up. Pivot to the front, warrior two, exhale. Nice and long, or your arms as you extend and reach. Any tiny little adjustments as you find your way into your first warrior two. Your right foot is pointing towards the front edge of your mat. Your gaze is over your right hand. And no matter how we flow through this full mandala, the front edge of your mat will always be the front, and the back will be the back. Inhale, reverse while your right arm reaches high. As an option, maybe keep the left arm extended long behind you as you gaze into the middle of the palm of your hand. Your arms are like the Pac-Man. The mouth is wide open. Feel the length through the right side body as you stay low in your lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, right forearm down. Left forearm to the sky or snug it in tight to your ear. Either way, feel one long line of energy from the back edge of your left foot through your side body, your spine, through the crown of your head and maybe even the fingertips. Inhale, stars, you open all the way back up again. Feet come parallel with each other, arms out to a T. Deep breath in, exhale, big swan dive all the way over into Prasarita again. Moving on, inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, turn to the back of your mat as we switch directions, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your left leg high and open your hip. Take it into a flip your dog if you'd prefer. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose as you round and curl your left knee draws to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. One breath as we prepare to flow again. Staying with your left leg, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon with your left leg. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch as you lengthen your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to the right to set up for prasarita. And exhale, bow deeper. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, and exhale. Gentle nod of your head, yes and no. Any gentle movements you might need. Preparing to move on. On an inhale, start to find a halfway lift. Hold for the exhale. Next, inhale, rise all the way up to star pose. Exhale, horse, hands to heart center as your toes turn out. A gentle little wiggle and sway, finding your way deep into your horse. Preparing for some breaths with the arms. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, star, open all the way up. Exhale, warrior two, to the back of your mat. So what this means is the left knee is bent. As it stacks over your left foot, your arms are long and strong. This is the opposite warrior two of where we started. Your gaze is past your left fingertips towards the back of your space. Deep breath in and out. A couple more breaths here, keeping your gaze past the left fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm reaches high as you stay low in your lunge. For a variation, keep the right arm long out behind you as you gaze into the center of the right hand. Left arm reaches high with a big opening through your left rib cage. Breathe. Deep breath. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Left forearm down as the right arm reaches high. Picking your favorite variation, which might be straight to the sky or tuck the bicep in near your ear. Either way, one long line of energy from the knife edge of the right foot through the right side body, through the crown of your head, maybe even the fingertips. Inhale, star, open all the way up. Feet parallel with each other. Exhale, prostrate big swan dive all the way over. Inhale, halfway lift from prostrate. Exhale, turn to the front of your mat, the original space where we started at the front of your mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and out. couple breaths here to reset. Before moving on, please try not to get too confused, but we're going to lead with the left leg this time and finding both the left and the right side is our flow. I like to mix things up just a little bit. Just go with the flow. Don't overthink it and know that we're going to lead with the left foot. When we get to the back of the room, you'll be at your right foot. One more full breath in and out. Inhale, start to lift your left leg high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, Crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to your left. And exhale, prostrate as you bow deeply. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, star, come all the way to the top. Exhale, horse. Hands to heart center as you sit low. Inhale, three breaths with your arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, star. To the front of your mat, warrior two, as the left foot pivots. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star, open back up. Exhale, prasarita, forward fold. Inhale, up under your fingertips. Exhale, turn to the back of your mat, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip or flip your dog. With a deep breath in, open your heart. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and out. With your right leg again. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to your left half lift. Exhale, prostrate and bow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, star, rise all the way to the top. Exhale, horse, hands to heart, sit low. Three breaths, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, star. To the back of your mat, warrior two. So your left foot points to the back of your mat, left knee bends. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, forward fold, prasarita. Take a deep breath and out. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, turn to the front of your mat, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and out. Couple of deep breaths. We're going to switch our direction again. Same flow, but leading with the right foot again. Again, don't let this stress you out or confuse you too much, but it's good to mix up things. Stepping out of the creature of habit, you can do this. Just remember, we're leading with the right foot again. Next, inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow or maybe hurdler's pose. If you know how to do hurdler's, fly real quick. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to the left. Exhale, prasarita as you dive deeper. Take a moment here in your prasarita. Do you have any other options you like to play with? You're welcome to find it. I'm going to move into a headstand. So do know you have plenty of time here to play with anything you want. You could take a wider split or just hang your head heavy and enjoy the extra time here. Do know that a headstand is a very advanced position. I'm only doing this to demonstrate and support to the advanced practitioners what we can find here. Gently start to come out of your deeper variation, finding any gentle little movements before we move on, like nodding your head yes and no, Decompress through the spine and neck. Feel your head hang heavy. Deep breath in and out. Your next inhale, come up to a halfway lift flat back. Then exhale, dive a little bit deeper. Inhale and exhale, dive a little deeper. One more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, turn to the back of your mat. Left knees bent. Moving on, changing it up, inhale, crescent lunge. So your back knee lifted off the mat, reach high to the sky in a high lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, setting up for eagle. Start with your arms, right arm on the bottom, left arm on top. So your elbows lift up and out of your chest. Deep breath and out. Next, inhale, lift your right thigh high up and over your left, finding full eagle as the right leg binds up and over the left. Squeeze your inner thighs tight. Keep your elbows high and lifted out of your chest for power eagle and breathe. Keep your arms bound. Before we move on, just wanna stay, arms stay bound. And gently as you're ready. On an inhale, start to lift your right thigh up Eagle-armed airplane, start to extend your right leg back behind you. Keep the arms bound as your torso lengthens out long, one long line of energy. Finding full airplane, extend your fingertips back behind you or bind the fingers behind you and open your heart. Stay long and strong here. Breathe. Gently set the back toes down. Inhale, back to your crescent lunge as your fingertips reach high. Catch your breath with a deep breath in. On the exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend inside. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, hands to heart, sit low. Three breaths to catch up with your breath. Inhale, exhale. Arms reach out and up. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Star open wide. Exhale. Prasarita. Big swan dive all the way over. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Turn to the front. 
Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, open your hip. Flip your dog if you'd like, deep breath. Maybe even full wheel if you have it in your practice. If not, just hold your dog. Extra breath. If you did, flip your dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose as you round it back over and squeeze. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And breathe. That completes guiding with the right leg first. Catch your breath here, or even pause the video if you need a little extra time before moving on to the left side. Leading with the left leg. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow or hurdler's pose if you can fly real quick. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hamstring stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, turn to your left. Exhale, press read as you bow deeper. Take any other variation you want here. I'm taking the bound hands as you bind your hands behind your tailbone. Nice heart and chest expansion, even opening up your shoulders as you allow your head to hang heavy. Breathe. Gently start to think about releasing your hands, drawing them back up toward your tailbone. Unbinding the knuckles. And release your hands to the floor. Gentle nod of your head, yes and no. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, bow a little bit deeper. Inhale. And exhale, turn to the back of your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. The high lunge with the back knee lifted off the mat. Fingertips reach high to the sky. Setting up for eagle pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, left arm on the bottom, right arm on top. Elbows are lifted up and out of your chest. As you're ready, ground down into your right foot. And inhale, lift your left thigh high as it crosses up and over the right. Squeeze the inner thighs tight and sit low. Breathe. Keep your elbows lifted for power eagle and concentrate. Remember, the arms will stay bound. Breathe. You'll be just fine. You'll make it through this. Getting to set yourself up to move on. On the inhale, your left thigh lifts high up. And exhale, bound airplane. Keep the arms in eagle arms as the left leg extends long back behind you. Focus your gaze on one spot. Gently your hands release to heart center. And then reach them and extend them back behind you for full airplane or bind the fingers for a nice heart and chest expansion. Deep breath. Exhale, you'll gently set the back toes down behind you. And inhale, reach for the sky as you find your way back into crescent lunge where we started from. Full breath in. One more breath. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, hands to heart, sit low. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in. Let it out. Inhale, star. 
Exhale, prasarita, big swan dive all the way over. Inhale. And exhale, dive a little deeper. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, turn to the front of your mat, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip or flip your dog. If you can take it into full wheel, take it all the way over into full wheel. Otherwise, hold your favorite variation and breathe. One more deep breath in, big expansive breath. On the exhale, gently start to bring it back over. As you squeeze knee to nose and round and curl. Inhale, your high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And breathe. Congratulations, you made it through both sides of this challenging sun B flow. Incorporating everything we learned in the sun A and even taking it deeper. Mixing things up a little bit. Stepping out of the creature of your habit. Go ahead and find child's pose and celebrate. Maybe even bringing the thumbs to the back of your neck. Open up through the triceps. Just enjoy this time in your child's pose. Breathe as long as you need or want. We will eventually move on to some surrender postures. Or if you need to pause this recording, take more time here. Take as much time as you need. That's the beauty of doing yoga with a recording, right? Is find what you need in this space. Just breathe and tune in. If you're still with me and you're ready to move on to some of the surrender postures, begin to rise up out of your child's pose and downward facing dog as you tuck your toes under, send your sits bones high. Tune in, down dog, such a great place, a benchmark to see how you're doing. Deep breath. Inhale, begin to lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. As your right knee finds the space behind your right wrist, scoot your left leg long back behind you. Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. Find your favorite variation, including any modifications if needed. If you need figure four, roll onto your backside and take figure four instead. Or deer pose, bringing the left knee to the sole of your right foot. Try and relax and surrender here as you bring your forehead to the mat or to a block. I do have another video that explains some of these options. So tune in to my short on how to modify half pigeon if you ever need to. Otherwise, just breathe and enjoy this space. Before rising, start to tune in to the thoughts. Where did your mind travel while you were holding stillness in your half pigeon? It's not uncommon for your mind to start to take over when you find stillness. If this does happen, just breathe. Or at least only focus on one thing. Letting go of multitasking and focus on what's most important to you in this moment, right here, right now. Start to work your hands back underneath your shoulders. With an inhale, lift your heart. As you lift your heart and your chin off the mat, an 
Finding a gentle back bend here, just pause for a breath in and out. With your hands to the mat, tuck your back toes under. Inhale, three-legged dog as you lengthen your leg long. Give you one more opportunity to open your hips or just wiggle your toes and your nose. Be gentle, though. Breathe. Check in. See if one side feels slightly different than the other. And as you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, ekapada, raja, kapotasana. Your left knee finds the back of the left wrist. As your shin draws across the mat, work your right leg longer back behind you. Inhale opens your heart. And exhale, take this to any depth or variation that you need. Maybe even mimicking whatever you did on the first side. Finding a way to relax the shoulders and arms. Relax your jaw. Relax the soft spot between your eyebrows. And breathe. Even resisting letting your mind come up with stories that are irrelevant to this moment. Just let it be all about you, your legs, your surrender, your breath. And if you do need to think about something, keep your thoughts on one thing. Resist multitasking. And just be. And just let it be as you breathe. before rising up and out of your pose. Tune in to your thoughts again. Did they wander or did they stay where they needed to be? Breathe. As you start to work your hands back up underneath your shoulders, gently preparing yourself to lift. And with an inhale, lift your heart. As your heart and chin lift up off the mat. Enjoy this mini heart opener for a breath. And then as you're ready, tuck your right toes under. Sweep your left leg high. Three-legged dog. Gently, any little gentle movements. Keeping it gentle by this point. And pause in your down dog. Deep breath in and out. Gently drop your knees on down to the mat as you come through a tabletop. Coming onto your sits bones. Setting up for a seated pose. Wide-legged straddle as you extend your legs out long to both sides. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then reach your right arm and your right fingers toward your right foot. Taking it as little or as deep as you can go. And as you hold, breathe. Let each exhale take you just a little bit deeper. Use your next inhale to return back up to center. As you're ready, on your next exhale, reach your left arm and fingers towards your left foot and toes. Don't worry about if you can't touch your toes. Just reach for what you can. And know that a gentle bend in your knees can go a long ways. There's no prize for straight legs. As you hold and breathe. Inhale, gently rise back up to center. Grab your legs. Use your hands to help bring your legs and bend in the knees. Soles of the feet together, cobbler's pose. 
Baddha Konasana. If you can hinge forward and dive a little deeper, go for it. Otherwise, stay seated upright. Breathe as you find your space here. Each exhale, maybe you can go just a little bit deeper. Remembering to keep your mind clear. Resisting letting the stillness let the mind take over. Just breathe. Next inhale, start to rise on up, upright to your seated posture. You can bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and use your hands to help bring your knees together to touch. As you turn lengthways on your mat, if you're not already, lengthen both legs out long in front of you. Reach for the sky, deep breath, exhale a deep forward fold, taking it all the way into Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold couple of breaths as you use the exhale to help take you a little bit deeper. If you're feeling tight today, bend your knees, wrap your arms around your thighs, and fold in, remembering there's no prize for straight legs. Your next inhale, start to unwrap and sit up tall. Gently with an exhale, roll yourself down onto your backside. Some happy babies as you grip the inner edges of your feet or your big toes, knees are bent. If you can lengthen your legs, go for it. Otherwise, keep your knees bent. Gently. Release your legs from your happy baby's pose. Position yourself on your mat to set yourself up for a supine twist. As you lengthen the left leg long, bring your right knee in towards your armpit and give it a squeeze. Nice, tight little squeeze to decompress the descending colon as well as your liver. When you're ready for the twist, extend your right arm straight out from your right shoulder out to the right side. And work your right leg long across your body. And breathe as you turn your head to turn towards the right hand. Some deeper breaths into your right side body as you fill up the right side body with air. Feel the expansion. Enhance the twist. Making it yummier, better, and relaxing. Enjoy this nice long twist. Couple more deep breaths in and out. Gently as you're ready, use an inhale to start to bring yourself back to center. And give both knees a squeeze. Bring the left knee in to join it, hugging both knees. And gently switch legs as the right leg goes long. Keep the left knee in, squeeze, massaging the descending colon, as well as your spleen is a little bit more on the left side. So some nice detoxing squeeze for your internal organ. Eventually, when you're ready, your left arm will extend out long to the left side. And you'll gradually work your left leg across your body for a supine twist. Keeping turning your head toward your left hand, 
and breathe into your left side body. You find the same big expansive breath to make this twist even yummier, better, more relaxing, more in tune to your breath and your body, your mind, body, spirit connection. Enjoy this space. couple more deep breaths before we prepare to come out of this twist, savoring and enjoying every ounce of oxygen. Inhale, gently return to center. Bring both feet flat to the mat and then give your knees a squeeze, forehead draws up to meet your knee. Finishing this winter solstice flow by extending your legs out long. I invite you to find one more pause if you'd like, one more pose rather if you'd like, fish pose, as you wiggle side to side, bringing your arms underneath you, then eventually grounding down into your forearms, your elbows, lift your heart, take a gaze back behind you as you let the crown of your head dip to the floor. Find some deep breaths, even open mouth exhales as you open up your throat and your heart. Cleanse and breathe. Open mouth exhales. As you gently ground back down into the elbows and forearms to start lifting the crown of your head off the mat, draw your chin to chest and gently release your heart opener. As you wiggle yourself a little bit flatter to the mat, Tune in to any lasting tingling sensation through your body, any chi, any vibrations, even bliss as it flows through your body. As you find your way into your shavasana, start to relax your jaw. Even relax the space between your eyebrows. Know that this space is yours, this time is yours. Please stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. Most importantly, resist letting your mind run away with your thoughts. At best, try not to think of anything at all. But if you do need to think of something, think of your breath as your belly rises and falls for these final breaths in your practice. Feel yourself drift. like a buried treasure at the bottom of the ocean. You feel yourself sink deeper into the sand as the currents of the waves and the water rush over you, just like your breath in and out, only to bury you just a little bit deeper into your sunken treasure. This treasure, this bliss, your Shavasana, your peace of mind, and breathe.
Of course, you're welcome to stay in this Shavasana as long as you'd like. But if you like to be guided out of your Shavasana, then start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a couple of extra deep breaths in and out. Eventually working your arms overhead as you reach back behind you for a deep breath in and out. As you lengthen a little more, one more breath in and out. Gently begin to pull your knees in towards your chest. Take a pause here to just kind of rock side to side like an egg on a countertop. As you're ready, rolling on to your right side body, pausing in a fetal position. Let this fetal position represent the beginning of the remainder of your day or your evening, whatever it is. Let it represent the beginning of something new. Choose happiness. Always smile. Whatever this beginning represents, do it with a smile. And gently Use both hands in an inhale to bring you on up to a seated position. If you find your way seated, work your hands to heart center in prayer. Recall your intentions that you set at the beginning of this class. This is a very challenging class, a great place to clear your mind, your thoughts, whatever makes you toxic. Tune in to how different you might feel right now compared to the beginning of class. Appreciate yourself for being here today. Appreciate your practice. Begin to bring your thumbs to your third eye center. From the light in the teacher and me to the light in the teacher in each of you. Honor your practice. Honor your life. Honor what it is you seek and become what you seek. And most of all, appreciate who you are and what you are. As I bow to you all, Namaste.